Hey, it's been a while. For those of you wondering where I've been, yep, I messed up. No, that, that'd be an understatement. I really messed up. I always told myself in the past that I wouldn't be like everyone else, that I was different. There was always a foundation of trust that I hoped to abide by with my audience. I didn't want to follow the rest. The community that I had with all of you was something that I never wanted to break. So many channels now strive for money and analytics but ignore the losers behind the screen like you who actually watch the videos that we make. It's not like me to dumb down my ideas or opinions for the sake of a wider reach, and I had an inkling of an idea that going down this path would make it a lot harder and scarier. I mean, why not just follow the rest of the pack? Why not just follow everyone else like the sheep you are, you big stupid leech? Nothing you make is original. Nothing you make is even funny. Give in. And I did. I gave in. Everyone I consulted to about this told me that a cat had caught my tongue, and maybe they were right. Maybe it had caught out my tongue. But it's not like me to move on without telling you the truth. I mean, if the one thing I value more than anything is transparency, then why should I hide it? Social media has always been a cesspool centered towards hatred. No matter what the clause is, you can always find fault in something. Oh, you're doing a giveaway for your audience? You must really want engagement. You must really want to show off how good of a person you are, right? Oh, you're donating half your earnings to charity? Why only half? You have so much more money than that, don't you? Oh. Oh. You've been gaslighting your own audience that you've slowly cultivated over the last year into believing that Nekoark was spelled with a C instead of a K? And not only that, you tried to hide it? Don't try to pull my tail here, you fucking feline. With Nekoark though, there is no excuse for these clawful actions. There was no reason for me to isolate my own fans who chose to call her Nekoark. After all, I hadn't even read Tsukihime myself. Who was I to talk about this? Growing up was actually really easy for me. I, I, I don't know why I brought that up. Mo moving on. With no research or basis for my thinking, I blindly believed like the sheep I am what the masses were telling me. It's spelled with a C, not a K. After all, that's what the Nekoark fandom site says. Anybody trying to tell me otherwise got blocked, killed, swatted, I don't care. I did whatever it would take. I didn't need my selfish beliefs to be challenged. My entire life, I thought that I was mature, only to look back months later and realize how little I knew. Even now, it's still happening. Will I ever reach the point where I can truly say I've changed? I've never made New Year's resolutions. This year was different, though. This was the year I told myself I would commit to something. I set two goals for myself. One was to reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and the other was to hit 500 Twitter followers. To think that in less than a month, I would have already achieved one of these goals was impossible for me to fathom, let alone having both in just over three months. I got what I wanted. I made friends. I got a wife. Everything was almost going too well. It was only a matter of time before the countless lies would reach the end of the tale. My reasons for believing it was Nekoark over Nekoark didn't make sense either. I mean, the phrase CO doesn't even exist in Japanese, and she's spelled with this KO in Katakana, so why? Why does Melty Blood spell it with a fucking C? This just doesn't make sense. For months, I received backlash from people telling me that I was wrong, and whether it was due to my sense of entitlement or lack of care, I stuck to my morals. Little did I know, morals are not always a happy thing. It was a warm spring morning, probably. Um, I woke up next to my beloved 1 to 1 scale plush Neoversion Soul International Edition from April 2007 as I received a message, along with countless death threats, that yes. The official Tsukihime art book that came with the limited edition of the new Tsukihime remake spells Nekawark with a K. I don't know why she likes Tsukihime so much, and actually, because of this, my girlfriend. <laughs> She broke up with me. We're we're not together anymore. It it makes me really sad, but I, I can't really blame anybody other than myself. I mean, I'm the one who gaslit those who trusted me most, and for what? To have everyone conform to my own selfish ideologies? I <laughs> I feel truly alone again. I've tried going out to touch grass, but all it reminds me of is Nekoark's strands of hair. You know, as I'm writing this, I, I still keep spelling her name wrong. Have I really moved on? I think because of this, I'm quitting YouTube. Once again, for my own selfish reasons.
As much as you may say you don't care, the trust I have in myself has been long broken and I don't think I serve as the super mega Ilya fan social influencer that I've become. This was my dream, but nothing more than that. They're called dreams for a reason. They're called dreams because they won't come true. I'm blasting off into the cosmos soon. Not to atone for these sins, because I don't really care that much, but to, to track down my beloved Ilias Vuel. I cannot find her here. In two months, my rocket will run out of fuel. This really is a life or death situation. If I can find Ilya, then my fleeting dreams will be for naught, but the likelihood of this happening is near none. I don't even know if Ilya resides in the same universe as us, but this is my only way to truly say I've done something meaningful with my life. Wish me luck, everyone. Goodbye forever. Wait, hold on. Wait, it's not April Fools anymore? Thank you to all my patrons, Red Raccoon, the Epic Droid, and Curious. Um, special thanks to my OnePlus camera for being a complete bitch. I fucking hate that thing. Um, yeah, I'm never doing a video like this again. Bye.